namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Okay, welcome back to everyone to the Nikaya study. Today we are going to study the part 19 of this Nikaya study series. This is about the Tika Nikaya 11 Sutta, uh, Kivota Sutta. So here, I changed the spelling in the Tiganikaya translation book. <clears throat> it is you the Kewuta Sutta. Other than T, you the D. So Kewuta, it should be transparent, pronounced. But in our Bambi's version, it has the character of ta that's why it should be here kewoda sutta kewoda sutta so this is just <clears throat> pronunciation different okay so here uh, uh this started with the request of the lady bodies the household of kewoda to the Buddha while the Buddha was staying at the Nalanda. So Nalanda still you can uh, you can find the name in India. So there the Pawarika, this is one of the monastery in Nalanda city. There the devotees Kewoda he really devotes in the Buddhist teaching and also Buddhist community. Also, he has a wish, a wish to develop uh, Buddhist community, to expand and uh, having more members. There is one going to the Buddha and he, uh, he paid his respect to the Buddha and he made a request. <coughs> Mentioned that the situation of Nalanda is a rich city and also very populous. So he requested to the Buddha uh, to ask any monks to regularly show the, the super, supernatural the performance. Supernatural performance is called the superhuman feats or miracles. And in order to, to pursue the, the people, non Buddhist people at the time, his intention is to, to develop the a Buddhist, a Buddhist member. <clears throat> Then he's, he mentioned that by showing or uh, by performing the supernatural performance and miracles, the many people will follow to the Buddha and listen to the Buddha's, Buddha's teaching. So they will have more faith, he mentioned that. <clears throat> by this reason, he requested us. Uh, and to the Buddha to ask somebody, you know, not necessary to to perform the Buddha himself. If the Buddha asks any monk to perform such kind of superhuman performance by using the 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 powers or supernatural power, it is called abhinya in Pali. And yeah, actually, yeah, as he mentioned, the people 
have uh, such kind of emotion that can be easily influenced by such kind of the performance of the miracle, any miracle or any unusual performance, they can easily get impression up on anybody else. So uh, in this case, the Buddha rejected three times actually. So for the first time, what the Buddha say is, this is not the way I teach. No. What the Buddha say is, this is not the purpose teaching Dhamma to the to the monks and also or the everybody you know or the followers to perform the supernatural uh, performance or supernatural feats and miracle to pursue the lay people you know, the white clothed at the at that time, and this the this word modified to the lay people. So lay people wear the white clothes, although they wear their different colors. And this mentioned the uh, white clothes, you know, wearing the white clothes. The this refers to their lay people living in the household life. And so the Buddhas mentioned that this is not the purpose to address to attract the people or becoming followers and rejecting that the Kyoto he repeated his request for three times then the Buddha uh, let him know about the uh, disadvantages of performance of miracle and introducing three kinds of miracle so there are three kinds of miracle and also here the buddha say i have already known them already known them and by by my my knowledge and also declare and mention about the three types what are these already and then buddha repeated actually and here the first one which is called the um, the the psychic power using the psychic power perform the different kinds of performance or or you know the banishing and sudden appearance and going through the wall and sinking into the earth etc in you know, different kinds of superhuman performance and not these are not the texts the ordinary people can do. <laughs> ordinary people meet just the, the people living in, in the regular life and without any, any practice. So using such kind of psychic power to showing them the miracle performance, that is called the miracle of psychic power. It's called the Adipati Hariya. Adipati Hari. And the second one is the miracle of telepathy. And this was mentioned later, you know, I will I will explain. Then the third one is miracle of instruction. So three in in Pali, the first one is Adi Badihariya, second one, uh, Adisana Badihariya, the third one is Anusasani Badihariya. So the Wa Badihariya uh, refers to the kinds of miracle. Okay, the Buddha mentioned three kinds and continue to explain what are these three. The first one, the miracle of psychic powers, is displaying various kinds of uh, performance using his own psychic power. And such as my, I mentioned there, uh, it's different kinds of performance. Even, you know, traveling by his own body uh, to the Brahma wall. So this already mentioned in the uh, Samanyafala Sutta, Sutta number two. So uh, this is Adi Vida, the, the knowledge of super, supernatural performance or the miracle. 
<clears throat> so we don't need to repeat it. If you want to know more about the what kind of performance are called the miracle of the psychic power, and you can go and check in the is Sutta number two. Then, of course, yes, if any monks <clears throat> perform such kind of miracle of psychic power, uh, someone who has already have the faith and trust, you know, the, I mean, uh, already get the, um, the faith in the Buddhist teaching <clears throat> and the faith in this monk. And by seeing the performance of the monk, and he will say, oh, this is you know, a special one. And then he will share such kind of uh, skill performed by the monk to, the, to those who are not believing in Buddhist teaching. I mean, non-Buddhist people. Saying that it is wonderful that our, you know, the monks, or the ascetic, the monk or refers to the monks who perform the miracle of psychic power. You will see how our Ben River can perform such kind of performance by using his psychic power. It is really wonderful. And he will introduce this kind. Then it, it can be happening. Then the other uh, non-Buddhist people, they can say, oh, sir, there is something called the Gandhara Cham. It means a kind of a skill called Gandhara. Uh, it's called the, uh, uh, in commentary mentioned that, that Cham or uh, this spell, uh, a kind that that is started up by the the ascetic Gandhara who, who call Gandhara or on as another way uh, it's mentioned that uh, the ascetics in the region of Gandhara they practice and then they are famous in this charm. So by using the power of the Gandhara charm, everybody can perform. This is not really wonderful. They can say that those who have the uh, skeptical or skeptical doubt, I mean, not not believing in the, the in that performance using his psychic powers, or well, actually, this is not psychic power. It can be performed through the Gandhara charm. So, so, <clears throat> so in this case, um. The, the believer, you know, uh, the believer, I mean, the Buddhist people, by referring to such kind of performance, he cannot make the other people uh, follow to the Buddhism. Because the, the non-Buddhist people, they will compare the, the performance through sake power to the performance through the Gandhara Cham. This is the regular one. <clears throat> Whoever learn the Gandhara Cham, they can do it. There's nothing they will say. So th this is the reason the Buddha is not recommending to displace such kind of miracle of psychic power in public. Even you know, the Buddha uh, laid down a bhikkhu's rule is not to perform such kind of miracle using psychic power in public. <clears throat> And so you see the seeing the danger of such miracles, I dislike, reject, and despite them. So the Buddha the rejected the first miracle to use. <clears throat> and the second one, the miracle of telepathy. Also, this also already mentioned a monk using his is power of telepathy. This uh, this is in English. You see, I don't know exactly how they do in the uh, in psychology uh, uh, practice, <clears throat> but in in Buddhist meditation practice, after the attainment of the a complete set of this jhana, uh, the high concentration level, and that monk can can 
read the other's mind by using his own mind. So he can read his mind uh, of the other, uh, he can read the other people's mind by using his mind. And also he can and say, how is that? You know, how your mind is this in this moment already happened. And I know that he can see that. So by seeing that, by keep giving this uh, this qualification or this skill of reading others' mind, <clears throat> the Buddhist follower can introduce the other non-Buddhist people. But similarly, this, uh, for, similar to the first uh, miracle, for this miracle also, non-Buddhist people, they can see there is uh, a charm which is called manika. Manika. So by using that Manika Cham, everybody, you know, anyone who knows the Manika Cham, they can read others' mind as well. This is not something wonderful. And then they can compare uh, the second miracle of telepathy to their uh, skill, skill of using the Manika Cham to read the other's mind. And <clears throat> so for that reason, the Buddha say, you know, I reject it. And seeing this uh, danger, I, I reject it to perform such kind of miracle as well. So uh, two are rejected out of three. Then what about the, the last one? What is the last one? The miracle of instruction, artisanship, Adisana Padiharya. So in this case, uh, a monk giving instruction. This is a kind of teaching. So learning from the Buddha and the great disciple, and he know what is good, what is what are the way you know to consider. So then he share his knowledge. He teach his followers, his disciples, devotees, consider in this way and don't consider in that way. And direct your mind in this way and do not direct that way. And also give up that, give up that refers to the unwholesome nature, you know, give up unwholesome nature. And also here again, this refers to the trying to gain wholesome nature, wholesome, wholesome deed. And also preserving it, as it so needs to preserve the, the practice or the effort, the concentration, or mindfulness. Or so <clears throat> now preserve yourself in the practice like this. So the monk, the learned monks, uh, he can give such kind of instruction by using the miracle of instruction. Uh, this is the last miracle. Um, so then the Buddha. Um, Repeat the 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 teaching, you know, the common teaching in the in this book, the first book of Diganikaya, many times repeated this process, starting from the arising of the Tathagata in this world, and preach the Dhamma and getting faith. And he uh, the any devotees, any lay people, uh, they go forth, I mean they ordain and practice the morality, practice the uh, restrainer of six sins law and the concentration attain the, up to the attainment of jhana. After that, keep practicing wisdom aspect from the inside knowledge and then different knowledge as mentioned in the second sutta of <clears throat> Dikanikaya um, Samanyapala Sutta. Finally, he realized the four noble truth and uh, get the path knowledge and and destructs uh, all corruption, all asawa. So asawa kyanyana. Then he can, he can give the statement, there's nothing further here. So this also, the miracle of instruction. I mean, the Buddha give the Dhamma talk. I mean, the preaching of the Dhamma. That is miracle of instruction used by the Buddha himself. And <clears throat> the Buddha can 
conclude uh, his teaching, three kinds of mirac miracle already. So these are three kinds of miracle to, to the Kewata, the Buddha mentioned. Then also give an example uh, to teach father to the Kewata. And there was a monk in this orami, in this community, there was a man, a sorry man, I mean, not mentioned exactly by the name or the by the lineage, and just a monk. And he had a thought. And also he wondered, he wanted to know where, yeah, where the four great elements of earth, water, fire, and air elements. So these are four great elements. So where these four great elements cease without remainder, without any remaining, and they, they, dis they vanish or they cease. And this is his question, his inquiry. And by keeping this question, and he started to research, interviewing. Then he, he practiced the mental concentration by that by the power of mental concentration he can reach to the Dewa realms. So up to the Brahma realm he will uh, travel around to search for the answer where the four great elements cease without remainder. Then first he reached to the the realms of the Dewa of four great king is called the Chetu Maharajika Dewa realm, the lowest uh, Dewa realms. Then he asked the Dewas, this is the, the Dewas in their realms. <clears throat> he just asked where the four great elements cease without remainder. Then the Dewas, uh, they say, I, we don't know actually, but it is possible if you go and ask the four great kings, the leader of, of that, the leader or the ruler of them, the realm of the Dewa realms. Because these four great kings are loftier and wiser than the, the residents they was in their realm. So they may know. Also, they're also not sure. And so if you uh, uh, still want to ask uh, to, for this question, and then you go and better, you better go and ask these four great kings, other than asking any of these members. And they suggest. Then, following the suggestion, he went. The monk, he went to. He went to, to the uh, great king. Also, they also respond the same thing, referring to the higher. So, thirty-three god, the second Dewa realm. You already know maybe that. So, Tower Densa realm. Then, the Dewas they refer their their leader, their king Saka. And Saka refers to the higher realm, Yama Devas, and they refers to the, the leader. So now we can know the six Dewa realms and their, their kin or their leaders. Yasu Yama, and this translates as the son of Dewa. Actually, this is the Dewa, you know. If we say the son of Dewa is seem a kind, but uh Paliwa Dewa Buddha and Dewata referring to the same meaning, you know, the, a kind of or the beings in the Dewa realm. <clears throat> then they refer to the Tusita, and Tusita also the leader, San Tusita. Then Imanarati, then the, the number five Dewa realms. Then they refer to the Sunimita. This is uh, the leader of the Nimanarati realms. And Finally, reach to the highest Dewa realms, uh, Branimita Wasawati. They also refer to the Wasawati. <laughs> then, uh, Wasawati refers to, so maybe the Brahma, Bra Brahma in the Brahma realms of retinues, because the, um, the lower Brahma realm is called the, uh, the Brahma's retinue. <clears throat> so, the 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 way could keep going, then the Brahma retinues the Brahmas. Uh, they follow to the great Brahma, which is called Mahabrahma. Mahabrahma. This is the first 
uh, class of Brahma Ram, first stage of Brahma Ram. And present that, actually, you know, he went to the Dewa and asked, <clears throat> the quest, the answer is we don't know. Then they say, there is, a, we call the Maha Brahma, a great Brahma, and they believe that the Konkara, Unconquer by the others, and also they, the Mahabrahma, according to the lower devas and and the, the Brahmas uh, retinues, they believe that Bra Mahabrahma he see everything, so all seeing and all powerful. Also, the law, and then still they, they are thinking that creator. But maybe you know not all of these still believe in the, the Mahabrahma is creator because um, they already learned the teaching of the Buddhism. This, the world is not created by the Brahma, as according to the Buddhist teaching. Then also uh, that time, a pointer and orderer, father of all that have been and shall be. So father of all beings, they believe in. Then this is the common usage uh, to refer to the great Brahma, Mahabrahma. Then because the Mahabrahma is Mahabrahma is loftier and wiser than we we are, so you should go and see. Then the location where is a great Brahma that that time actually for the lower Brahma they don't know where exactly Mahabrahma stay and uh, live. So we don't know, but there is there are the signs we can see uh, when the, the Mahabrahma is coming. So this is the, the kind of light and radiant, very shine, is not uh, cannot be compared with the other lights, other kinds. So such high are uh, indication and it's come initially coming before the appearance of Mahabrahma. This is <clears throat> how the lower Brahma, the Brahma retinue, the refers to the <laughs> the appearance of Brahma at their present. So okay, then finally he reached to the Mahabrahma. Then he asked the same question. Where do the four great elements cease without remainder? In this case, the, the answer of Mahabrahma is, I am Brahma, great Brahma. So he just claimed, who is he? Who is a, I am Mahabrahma like this. But for that answer, the bhikkhu, he didn't satisfy. He, he could not satisfy with that. And then he said, I did not ask if you are. Brahma or no, I'm not asking who you are. I just ask where the great element sees without remainder. And second time and and he insisted the third time, although the Mahabrahma uh, didn't want to give the straightforward answer to that question. Because for that case, the Mahabrahma also have to say, I don't know actually. But in when the monks was insisting for three times, repeating three times, that time the Mahabrahma, uh, he took that monk by arm and take him away from the, the assembly, the audience of the, the Brahmas. Then he said that uh, the reason why he is keep talking, I'm I'm Mahabrahma like this. Is not giving the straightforward answer. Then here yeah, he say is this Dewa believe because this Dewa when you are asking uh, around and there is nothing Mahabrahma does not see because they believe Mahabrahma know everything. So in front of them the Mahabrahma them say he didn't want it to give the straightforward answer. I don't know because they believe there is nothing he does not know. And there's nothing he is unaware of. And that's why I did not speak in front of them. Actually, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know where. 
then also he he pointed out so the monk this this action this action you are doing such in the answer in the Deva realm and Brahma coming even to the Brahma realm is you your action you you are wrong your mistake. Because you go beyond the blessed one, so referring to the Buddha, you go beyond the Buddha, not asking to the Buddha, and you are asking the other people. This is your, your mistake. Now, although you are such and you cannot get, if you want to get the answer, so go, go back to the blessed one, to the Buddha, and ask him, ask this question to him. And also, whatever he, the Buddha, gave the answer to you, then accept it. I mean, don't come back. You know, sometimes some people they ask to somebody after that, and they go to ask another person after collecting, and then they come back, and then who say in this way and that way is not not the same as you 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 gave. So they just went to collect such kind of. Uh, you know, inquiries and argument, but they, they didn't want to learn. So here for the, the Mahabrahma is, so you should go back and ask to the Buddha and learn the Buddha's answer and accept it. So he means, don't come back. <clears throat> Just take it, what the Buddha said. Then in in this case, uh, the man realizing that he was taken wrong way, and then he went back to the Buddha's, and uh, using the, his supernatural powers, the concentration powers, and appear in the Buddha's presence because the Buddha is repeating this story. Then, paying his respect to the Buddha and sitting down, sitting down, and then he he asked the same question: Where the great element seeks without remainder? Then the Buddha repeated his answer. Actually, it's not really he directly given an answer. And Buddha gave a simile, a story of the, uh, say the land seeing but. So, Tiradasi, Sakuna. Here, yeah, Sakuna is but, but. So, Upama, Sakuna Upama. Tiradasi, Tira is, is the land or shore. So, uh, once upon a time, I mean, it's already happened. They they marching in the traveling in the ocean, the so sea far sea sea far and marching across the ocean. Then, when they sail on the ocean, took they took a lens lens side in butt, a lens side in butt. This is a kind of bird. It can fly pretty far and can see the land, so so that it can see the land. So when they lost in the ocean, where is the land? If when they don't know, and they wanted to know, they released the bird, that bird, and that bird searching for the land, and then they go to different direction. Or east, south, west, north, in different direction. And if the bird cannot see the land, and he flew back to the ship. By seeing the bird coming back to the ship, and they understand that still we are far from the, the land, far, far from the shore. Then if there is a land, the the bus directly flew there as it does not come back to the to the ship, so in that case they follow to the bus to reach to the land, and this is how the 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 merchant do. So the Buddha giving this example, you are just like a a land side in box. No, you go. You went to even to the Brahma wall to reach to the Brahma wall. You have been already not getting any answer, 
any proper answer and you come back. It's just like the bird not seeing land in any direction, any in any direction and coming back to the ship in the same way. Now you come back to me. Yeah, so given this example, the Buddha asked the monk. And okay, so about your question. So the monk is uh, asking such kind of question. It's not complete. For the Deva and Brahma, maybe they have no ideas about uh, this question and what kind of question what sh uh, it should be asked in that way or like this. They, they may not have it, any ideas. And But for the Buddha, Buddha know this question is, uh, is not in the proper way, not formulated in proper way. That's why Buddha uh, corrects the question first. So the commentary mentioned that this is uh, the nature of the Buddha uh, in conversation, in having conversation. Uh, if somebody bring the, the incomplete question, or somebody asks in appropriate, inappropriate way, so he corrects the question first then he keep a discuss about the answer. So now also the Buddha, you should not ask like this, you know, and you should ask in this way, and the Buddha give the correction in the question. So uh, for the Buddha's uh, question, uh, is have more information to complete, it, to cover, so for the monks, he just asks where, only where the great element seeks. So for the Buddha here, where do, so we can say the, do, do the, the four elements, no food and fine, we cannot stand on, cannot find, find the, the base, not just season, even for the base. Where are alone and shocked? These are also the form of, of materialities or rupa. Loud and short, small and great and fair and far. Uh, these are different interpretation of the materialities. So loud and short uh, features or the, the form and small and great size like this. And also, where are nama and form, name and form? This, ref this refers to the mentalities and materiality, wholly destroyed. So if you ask covering this fera, it is the proper way to ask this question. Also, in other way, we can say to, uh, to get the answer you are searching for. Because the Buddha know his intention, why the mouse willing to ask? What is the answer? So directing to the answer, the question should be corrected, you know, should be reformed with more information. So the Buddha gave the, the way of questioning, then give an answer by himself. Then here, the translation book he used the consciousness to translate the word vijnana. In Pali, is used the word vijnana. So the other translation, I, I will not uh, discuss um, in, in large. Here, i like to introduce this way of translation. And this translator used the consciousness because in many other places, the word vijnana is translated as consciousness. Or vijnana kanda among the five aggregates, classification of five aggregates. Vijnana kanda class, translated as aggregate of consciousness. Also, in many places, the consciousness is standard word to translate the word, the Pali word vijnana. But here, According to the commentary, also considering the other basis uh, principle, 
of Abhidharma. Um, uh, this is not the uh, appropriate place to translate this Vajrayana into consciousness. Then the commentary gives the Vajrayana to translate into the one Nibbana. So, because this war, Vinyana, in Pali formation, Vinyata Bandi Vinyana, so in, it come in the passive form. Although the Buddha used the war Vinyana here and also again here for the last part. And they are not referring to the same, the same thing. The first Vinyana refers to the Nibbana, which can be understood something to be known by supramundane knowledge. Supramundane knowledge refers to Mecca or Pala. So past knowledge and future knowledge. So the Vinyana translate, translating that something to be known by the supramundane knowledge, it refers to Nibbana. That's why in this case, According to commentary, the Buddha refers to the Nibbana. But here, another question is, if we say the Nibbana by using way, it seems Nibbana, has a, Nibbana refers to a kind of location, but actually, yeah, it will be too far if we go you know, to discuss about the, the interpretation of Nibbana. Okay, so basically, so Nibbana is without location or without time, out of the location and time recognition. So anyway, we we will use this word understanding Nibbana instead of regular consciousness. So we can see the where the Vinyana is singleless. We can see the single singleless, signless, sorry, signless, so there's no sign. And also Boundless, no boundary. All luminous. Okay, still, you know, we can use um, this all luminous in the translation of. On on the other hand, it can be said that excessive from different direction, like this, so a different way. Uh, anyway, this refers to nibbana. The Buddha gave where nibbana, so something like this. Then there is where earth, where water, fire, air, I mean the all four elements, for great elements, find no food in. Uh, in the cycle of rebirth, existence, in any existence, there will be a four great elements. Now, if you already understand about the four formless flame of existence, there will not be any materiality of elements. But overall conclusion, we can say that in the round of rebirth, the samsara, the realm of existence, there will be the food in for the great element, the great element will be there. But never now, out of the, the existence, out of the plane of existence. So there's no uh, food in for great element, you would say. Because there's no arising for great element in Nibbana. It is already six because of not arising. So cessation can be understood in two ways. Uh, the first one is Succession after arising, just like our mentalities and materialities, arising due to the condition after that, and then they are uh, ceasing or vanishing. And for the Nibbana, such kind of succession can be understood non arising through the non arising nature. Okay, so in Nibbana, there is no food in for five, uh, four great elements. This is the first part of the answer. And also keep continue repeating to the question. 
So where are long and short, etc. So they are both long, short, long and short, small and great, and fair and foul. Uh, can be described. Not arising. It means it is a kind of completely destroying, including all mentalities and materialities. Other this one, Nama and Rupa, in the common sense of translation, they use the name and form, name and form. But we can understand this is all kinds of mentalities and materialities. And finally, we can understand in Nibbana, there's no great four element, also any um, appearance of materialities, including all mentalities and all kinds of materialities. Okay. Then with the succession of consciousness here, the word Vinyana come here again. But in this case, it can be understood directly to the um, regular translation of consciousness. We are not here consciousness. And this is all destroyance. The cessation of consciousness can be understood the last moment of Arahat, Arahat's life, after the attainment of Arahat's shift in that very life. <laughs> At the end of the life of Arahat, the final consciousness. Final consciousness, we call the Prinipana Chuti. So, uh, the death consciousness of the Araha, final liberation. No more consciousness after one. The last one. Then, with the cessation of consciousness, this, this moment also have the three phases arising and static phase, and the finally. The, the passing away. So, um, with the cessation of final parinibbana death consciousness, it is done. All destroyed. It is all destroyed. We completely liberation after what? Then also, maybe I hope it's not so confused. After that, I will um, I show you the um, a Sierra Ugumara one size slideshow. Uh, it's conducted in 2021 uh, class. And you can get uh, some information for Pali. And here, i like to add more information about this consciousness. So for the first I mentioned that the this consciousness refers to the last moment of samsara, the last moment of Araha's life. After the no more rebirth and no more consciousness and no more materiality at all. And this is the first way. In the second way, the cessation of consciousness can be understood. The cessation of the karmic consciousness, the karmic consciousness. The karmic consciousness, as long as our karmic consciousness is not see, it will generate because the karma generates the resultant. So the resultant become life. So as long as we cannot find the succession of the karmic consciousness, there will be Result on generated by their karmic consciousness, and there will be life more and more. So, by the attainment of our hardship, or this knowledge, the past knowledge of final enlightenment, the karmic consciousness is destroyed. There's no more karmic potency to produce for the next life. That's why. By the succession of karmic consciousness, now, this is all described again. You can understand. So, this is how the Buddha mentioned to the Hausura Kibota. Uh, this is further explanation, talking about <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the miracle of instruction is superior to the miracle of 
of psychic power or miracle of telepathy. Because the household of Kewada have the inclination to the performance of former two miracles than the, the last one, miracle of instruction. Although the Buddha and their uh, disciples, the, the monks, are given the teaching and given the instruction, I mean, on the other hand, performing the less miracle in public through the teaching, through the Dhamma talk. Uh, he did not satisfy and expect to see, uh, to have the events performing the former two miracles. That's why the Buddha let him know uh, the value of the less miracle. So, the finally, he has delighted and he has rejoiced the Buddha as well. Then let's see here, and this is the um, Sarah Ukumara one size teaching, I just received from the um, the the teaching series of the Power Georgia. Then let's go back. Let's go to directly go to the point we we are, are talking about. Then here, it a boja but we did your wire that wire not got it like this. So the wall we yana use the wall. This refers to the uh, this we yana uh, refers to the nibbana here. Nibbana in this nibbana. And for the another part is here see the Vinyanasa Nirodhina, the Wa Vinyana again. This Vinyana is translated as the succession of Abhisankara. Actually, Abhisankara is, as I mentioned, the Gamic uh, consciousness. So this is translated as the consciousness. So if you went uh, at this slide and you can request to the the, the file Georgia email and then you can get it. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Uh, my explanation about the Dikanikaya, yeah, eleven Sutta or Dikanikaya, Kewoda Sutta, and we will have uh, two more Sutta to study for this book. And thank you very much. Thank you for your attention and participation. Thank you, Seattle, well, for today's teaching. This is the end of our class today. Uh, may Seattle lead us in making aspiration and sharing of merits. Sadhu, 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 sadhu. Thank you. Let's make aspiration and share our merits to all beings. Yes, please repeat after me. Imina punya kamina. Imina punya kamina. Ami bala samagamo. Ami bala samagamo. Sadam samagamo hodu. Sadam samagamo hodu. Sarah, I can't. Yawani bana patiya. Yawani bana patiya. Idami bunyam. Idami bunyam. Asawa kaya baham hodu. Asawa kayam waham hotu. Idami bunyam. Idami bunyam. Nibana sa bajayo hotu. Nibana ta bajayo hotu. Mama punya bagam. Mama punya bagam. Taba satanam bajimi. Taba satanam bajimi. Isa be. Ita be. Me samam, me samam, unya bagam labandu, unya bagam labandu, sadu, sadu, sadu.